hello 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 so welcome back to official hot boy and in this brand new tutorial i'm going to demonstrate to you how to use widget to clone a website okay so um we get uh, we get is an uh, a command line tool which is used to perform a lot of operations okay so i'm going to make this tutorial very simple and then we will test it and see how it works we understand all right so i'm going to download this temporary template with we get so let's see uh, get uh, free templates all right so i'm going to search for a template and then we will download this template with with we get okay so i'll go to uh, i'll go to this website so to install we get make sure you have google you have internet and then you go to google Go to google.com now you search we get okay so download we get command line for windows okay once it comes uh you tap on this link this one g gn you we get version 1.21.4 for windows so when you click here now you come here okay and then you download the we get. i'm already having the we get, so i don't need to download it so i have it here i think uh this is it right now i've already downloaded it okay so if you don't have it make sure you download it and then you install it on the computer one this is where you download it so once you download you install it on the pc then you're good to go okay all right so what you're going to do is um So I'm going to get this new file, okay? And then we get. So I'll paste this code here to make it simple. All right. So what we're about to do right now, um, we want to download this check templates, okay? I want to get this I want to get a simple church template and then we will download it with bootstrap uh, with we get um, let's go to theme forest all right so this template is like twelve dollars okay it's twelve dollars here now you go to right click and then now we right click we open it here Now, once it's done, then we will use this tool to download it. So, open your folder, okay, and then make sure you go to wherever you want to download the website files. You understand? All right, so just go to Drive C. I'm going to Drive C, okay, and then I'll just come here, and then I'll come here, okay. So, I'm going to download the folder here. So, I'm going to create a folder. A new folder here then I'll, I'll make it church demo website okay then I open it so right now you go to the URL here on the folder then you type CMD then you open it okay I like to use the green colors uh,
so i'm going to open the cmd and then now this is it okay so now that we have this we are going to use a command prompt here to download the website files okay so this is a website this is a website we want to download all right this is it so we want to download this particular template it's for sale it's around like uh, 12 dollars okay so to download this template we just click on the url we copy the url and then now we come here so i want to just edit it here okay all right so i'm just going to replace uh, let me come here okay so we're going to type this code into your command prompt we get recursive this code i'll paste it in the video description so you can download it all right so this is it so i'm going to replace this link with the link i copied okay and then now um, i'll just copy the whole link i'll copy it then i'll come to the cmd so i'll paste it so now you can see the website is being downloaded so you just have to copy this small code and then you paste it in your command prompt okay so this is going to download the website for you so now if i open this website if i open the folder here this is it right now you can see now you can see this is it right now so i'm going to open it and you see that we have the website cloned on our laptop on the on the computer okay so i can now remove all this from it all right so let's wait for it to load let's wait for it to load and then finish so i'm going to go to the source code and then make sure i beautify it so i'm going to use visual studio okay so visual studio so right now if i open the visual studio i'll just come here this is the folder we get okay and this is a church website so this is a website i downloaded I've cloned okay so now this website uh, this is the source code so now what we are going to do is I'm going to make sure I format the code to readable so I can read the code you understand so I'm just going to select all and then now I'll format documents with okay I'm going to format it with beautifier so that it will look perfect And you can see it's looking very nice and perfect so now once you get this you can now uh, go through the source code and edit anything that you want to edit i hope you get it yeah that's basically the video that's what i want to show you so now i'm going to remove uh, this sheet i want to remove this from it you want to remove this particular this header okay you want to remove this so basically you come here and then you just remove it come here then you remove it from the code then you save so make sure you save so you can see at the end we are going to clone the same website now when i refresh Alright, so you can see the website has been cloned here right now. We have all the pages here and it's working perfect. Okay, so I'm going to close. I'm going to close this and then now I'm going to use Atom to open this.
Okay, so I'll come here and close this and then close this and then I'll close this one. All right, so I'll come to the regit. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. I will rename it to index. So index dot php. All right. Then I'll just open it here. So once I open it, this is a source code. Okay. There's a whole source code that we have here. So I'm going to refresh my local hosts and then I'll come to regate. Okay. So when I come here, this is it. So this is how to use the regate. So you can use this to download all the pages on the website. You can come to maybe the gallery page. Okay. Then you download it. So that's basically how to clone a website. Okay. With regate. So make sure you come to the main website. And then you download the source code here once you are done then you're good to go all right so this is a church website with clone this is it it looks perfect okay yeah so we can now use this to download the whole website you can download the whole source code i hope you get it yeah so you can edit the code just by removing anything that you don't want okay removing the this is a preview i tried to remove this and it was giving me error so you just have to take time to remove everything from the website uh-huh all right so this is it this is it so right now i'm going to run this here and then i'll see now I want to explain something when you use the regate to down clone the website you actually get this first you get this iframe okay and this iframe really gives the actual website the one you see here is not a website so this is the actual website here this is the main website uh, url you can see here so right now what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to download it here Okay, I'm going to download. I'll come here and then I'll, I'll just do the church website. Okay, then I'll delete this one. So make sure you get this link. This link now, you run to the folder. So now you go into the folder then you enter here you run the URL CMD now when you are done so we are come to download so make sure you copy this code make sure this is a website link okay you will link the website link here so I'm going to replace the URL link. All right. So like this, I replace it here. Okay. And now I copy this the link. So I'll come here. And then I'll place it here. So you can see. So the website is being downloaded you can see from here the website is being downloaded and it's easy all right so right now this is a website okay this is it 
I'm going to cut this um, and I'll delete this here okay so now when I open this you see I have the source code here available on the machine and it's super easy all right so you can see so now this website for sale this website for sale is now clone on the computer and now this is it so i'm just going to open the file here and then i'll just all right this is it so i'm going to format it with the beautifier to make sure it looks better and then just save all right i i usually use atom for my developments so i'm really connected to atom so i'll come here and then i'll just rename it all right so now the website has been cloned okay so now you can actually start building so once it's done like this it works fine you can see from here everything works fine so I'll just change you the PHP I'll run it on the server okay and then we go here and then we come here so this is how to clone a website okay with wget and wget is a tool to clone any type of website that you want thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoy i will provide you with more tutorials on web development okay so when you are done you can clone the other parts of the pages you can clone uh, the gallery okay you can clone the gallery pages everything so that is how to clone the website thank you so much for watching this video